In last December, a new variant of COVID-19 have been reported, and since then, other variants have been identified. So, what's variant? There are variants in viruses when the genetic code of the virus is changed or mutated. Often, those mutations have no impact. However, as the genetic code contains instruction for how protein is produced by the virus, often a mutation changes the protein structure such that, for example, it makes it possible to reach and infect human cells. Such mutation could, could give the virus a competitive advantage over similar viruses, which means that, over the time, the new strain would dominate the population. Mutation in viruses, including the coronavirus, are neither new or unexpected. Coronaviruses mutate slower than some other viruses like flu or influenza. Flu viruses change often, which is why doctors recommend that you get a new flu vaccine every year. However, since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, there have been a few significant mutations detected. How do those new variants differ from the original coronavirus? Let's answer this question with numbers. The variant identified in UK, I will explain those variants later in details. The UK variant contained 23 changes to the genetic code. In some resources, 17. It's not important. However, in comparison to the original SARS-CoV-2, in the SARS-CoV, the previous uh, coronavirus, which identified in Wuhan, China, the first one that was identified, precisely how and where it originated, it's still unclear. But it has since spread to become the dominant variant in London and Southeast England. South Africa variant carries some of the same mutation in UK variant, also carries some different mutations. Some of the new variants appear to be associated with more severe disease, according to some studies. Also, they found to be more dangerous, uh, more contagious than the aerial variant, meaning they spread more easily. It's, it's very important to mention that the mutation affected spike protein, which covers the outer coating of the virus and gives the virus its characteristic spiny appearance. Uh, these proteins help the virus to attach to human cells in nose, lungs, and other areas of the body. Other questions come to mind regarding this. Are coronavirus variants more dangerous or not? As I mentioned earlier, identified mutations shown to be enable coronavirus to spread faster. However, even with less severity, this can be more deadly. How? Actually, it's a simple logic. If a mutation makes virus deadlier, it may not give the virus opportunity to spread efficiently, since the person will die. Um, I will rephrase it again, maybe it will be more understandable. If people get uh, too sick or die quickly from a particular virus, the virus has less opportunity to infect others. However, more infections, more faster spreading variant will lead to more and more deaths. So let's speak now about the identified variants in a little details. Uh, okay, South Africa variant P1351, which appeared to spread more easily. It also has a moderate impact on the effectiveness of the available vaccines. There is also a variant identified in Japan and Brazil, P1. This variant, same feature as a South Africa variant. Two variants were identified in California, United States. Out of the all variant, South Africa variant has more attention. South Africa variant is getting a closer look from researchers. Some early findings showed that COVID-19 vaccine from Oxford AstraZeneca provided a minimal protection from the version of the coronavirus. Those who became sick from this variant after receiving the Oxford vaccine experienced mild or moderate illness. However, it has not been shown to cause more severe illness than aerial versions. However, there is a chance that uh, it could give people who survive the original coronavirus another round 
of mild or moderate COVID-19 disease. How concerned should be regarding this variant? As I previously stated, the majority of the genetic variation we see in various are insignificant, but when the evidence is clear enough that a viral genetic change is inducing a change in the virus's behavior, we gain new insight into how this virus can infect humans. Um, we don't need to overreact in the terms of those variants. However, with any virus change, any change must be monitored to ensure that the diagnosis, treatment, and uh, the available vaccine are remaining effective. As uh, coronavirus develops, scientists will continue to examine new variants. How will new variant change the nature of the pandemic? Could a new COVID-19 variant affect some population groups like children more frequently than the irreal versions or strains? Actually, there is no convincing evidence as researchers in areas where the new strains appearing to have uh, a high number of cases in children by old variants, as well as in new ones. Will the COVID-19 vaccine work on the new variant? COVID-19 vaccine were developed based on SARS-CoV-2 S protein or spike protein. This protein has mutations identified in this variant. While research suggests that COVID-19 vaccine have a lower efficacy against the variant, the vaccine still appear to provide protection against uh, the severe COVID-19 cases. But to clarify this, a further research is needed. In addition, vaccine manufacturers also creating booster shots to improve protection against the variant. So will there be more new variants? Yes, unfortunately. As long as coronavirus pre-population mutation will continue to happen. Can we prevent new variant emergence? It's important to reduce the number of people who become infected. It's very important because mutations are more likely to occur when the virus continues to spread and infect new hosts.